Hey, good evening, everybody. It's Sunday night here, and uh, we were watching Sally. First, uh, we want to mention Paulette is nearing Bermuda right now, and tonight they're going to be possibly dealing with a direct landfall there, possible Category 2. So we're thinking about them. They're ready. They're all boarded up, and uh, that's happening now um, for B Bermuda. But Sally is making that turn to the northwest. The uh, Hurricane Hunters are flying in there tonight right now. Starting to find a little bit lower pressures. It does appear that the main convection is starting to stack a little bit more over uh, mid-level, mid lower level. So we could be seeing that intensification that it's expected. Um, so there's a lot to watch in the next 12 hours or so. By tomorrow, our system is actually going to be nearing um, the coast. Uh, so it's happening quick. It's happening fast. Uh, landfall possibly Tuesday morning. Uh, morning, afternoon, the uh, the fact remains, rainfall is going to be the number one story regardless of speed and strength. Uh, we're seeing 15 to 20, 20 plus inches possible, and that some of the rain totals stretch all the way into uh, the Florida um, Panhandle. So inland flooding is always a huge huge pro problem with slow moving tropical system that's a whole second story outside of landfall so that's going to be the big news is the flooding if you're in a flooding area then definitely pay attention to that the latest uh modeling trends are a strengthening system as this makes final approach and the latest hmon hwarf gfs uk and icon are all showing under 980 millibar system 960 a uh, couple of them that would be borderline category two all of those that are are showing a, a stronger system are actually taking our system a little bit more to the east um, a little bit more of a slowdown a little bit more turn to the north in the east so not sure if we're going to see a track change at 11 o'clock the uh the two outliers are the euro and the cmc and they're showing more of a westward track and a little bit more of a weaker track but again, we're starting to see a little bit more modeling showing a stronger system here um, start to turn at the last second and uh, possibly become a little bit stronger hurricane. So that's something to definitely watch. Uh, surge values are already inching up to 11 foot in spots. And uh, as long as we have a strengthening hurricane, those surge values will verify anything stronger will be higher surge. Slower moving, mover, moving system is going to have more uh, effects with the tides because our system is going to um, be pushing that water in over a longer pro prolonged area so the tide cycle is going to in increase surge overall a little bit um, and the uh, and just the over just the overall uh, surge surge is the big question the the weaker system obviously the surge would be less so rainfall is a given number one uh in, in tonight looking looking at radar tonight we're going to see storms we already see a big batch down in fort myers area we're going to see some squalls still develop here across the uh, florida inland and in, into tallahassee and pensacola area so midnight one two three in the morning we can see some squalls making their way up into uh, panama city area uh, inland so uh, that that's tonight going into tomorrow morning so we're, we're going to see these squall lines we have a pretty hefty one just on the south Apalachicola right now and these are going to be working their way a little bit more towards coastal tonight so it'll be a rocky rough night for for many folks still as um sally slowly inches north westward and uh looking at landfall tuesday so lots to watch the next 12 hours hurricane hunters are flying out of right now um and we're going to see, you know, the big question is the intensity. And, and again, there, there's there's more models suggesting a stronger system and a little bit of east shift than there are less showing that. So 11 o'clock tonight, we'll get a new advisory from the NHC. Very important. We'll see what they say. See if there's any bumps. That's going to affect a lot on, on who gets the, the heavy surge or not. And um, rainfall is still given regardless of that. So have a good night. We'll see you in the morning, 919 for sure. We'll be live tomorrow a couple times through the day. So see you.